Today I will be showing you guys how we make a simple sugar flower like this. This is made out of Fat Daddy O's gum paste and it's super easy and they're really beautiful, especially when you do a lot. I just made this one in a private class on Sunday. Um, so I'm gonna show you how we make this. Here we go. These are the supplies that you'll need. I'm using Fat Daddy O's gum paste, some cornstarch, a petal pad, a brush to use with the edible glue, a flower former, a ball tool, and these are some nylon cutters from Fat Daddios. These are six point flower cutters. You can use a five point flower cutter if you'd like, um, but this one just gives it more of like a ruffled look because there's more um, corners to turn up. So let's get started here. I'm going to use the Fat Daddios gum paste. Just break off a little chunk. And we're just gonna knead it together, just so we get it soft and pliable. Make sure your work surface is clean since we are using white. Now with gum paste, when you're kneading it together, sometimes little pieces will fall off. Just go ahead and pick it back up with your gum paste. See, and then we'll knead it all together. Once you start working it with your hands, it's going to get soft and pliable and gum paste sometimes gets a little sticky. So if you need to, you can add a little cornstarch to your work surface. But since I'm using my Fat Daddy-O's mat, nothing really sticks to it. Only if it starts getting sticky in my hands, then I'll add a little bit of cornstarch. So I'm gonna rip off a little piece here. Now when I'm rolling out my gum paste, I am gonna put a little bit of cornstarch down and a little bit on top. You'll also need a rolling pin. Sorry, I didn't tell you that earlier. So let's start rolling it out. Now for these flowers, you do not want them to be super thick because you are going to see these edges. You want them nice and thin. You don't want them really thick because they're gonna be really hard to smooth out. And if you have any little pieces Go ahead and just pull those out, any pieces of like different colored fondant or like a little lint and then just re-roll it. You won't see it. See, rolling it just took it right away. So this is, it's pretty thin. It's not paper thin. I can't see through it yet. I don't want it that thin. I think if we roll it a little bit, we'll be able to see these marks a tiny bit, but for right now, this is a good thickness. It's not too thin, I can still work with it and I'm still gonna be able to move it around nicely on this pedal pad. We are going to use the second to largest size. This is about a four inch flower. The biggest one is four and a half inches. Now when I'm doing these easy sugar flowers, I like to use three different sizes. You can do four, but this one has three layers. See, it's got the outer and the middle, and then this is the center. You can go more. It would just be like um, a bigger, more full flower. These are some ones that I have done previously. These are a little bit smaller, but do you see how they have one, two, three, four? These have four layers. You can really, you know, change it up and do whatever you'd like. This one is only two layers. See, it just gives it a different look. So you can really change it up and do whatever you'd like to those. So for now, we're gonna cut out our first one. If you have enough room with your gum paste, you can try to cut out some more. Um, I think I can get two out of this. Now, when you're pressing down with this cutter, press straight down 
and then just wiggle it back and forth. That way you know you have a nice clean cut all around the edge. A nice clean cut. Now I like using these nylon cutters opposed to the metal cutters because there's no seam. It's just seamless and they cut really nicely. They have um, like a sharp edge. See, it's like thicker, a little bit thicker here and then it gets um, more thin here. That gives you a really good cut. So we're gonna be using that. I don't think, hey, maybe I can fit all of them. All right, I'm gonna try to fit. I don't think I can, I'm gonna try it. So press down, wiggle it back and forth. That's that one. And this one. Yep. Cut out all three. Now, if you're taking your time or this is your first time making these flowers, you're gonna wanna cover these up with plastic wrap or I think Wilton sells um, that thing that has like a, a film on top. You just stick it in there and then it kind of covers it. The same thing as plastic wrap would do. Um, so if you kind of work slowly, you just wanna make sure you wrap those up. Um, just so that they, they don't dry out on you. But if you work quickly, then you can just leave them out. And your leftover gum paste, make sure to wrap that up because gum paste will dry out. And when gum paste dries out, there's little tiny pieces of like hard gum paste on the outside and then the inside will be like soft. Okay. So we're going to have our petal pad. I like to have some cornstarch on the side and then just dip my finger in it if it's a little bit sticky. Put that on your petal pad. This is just, I think this is from brand Gem, J-E-M. Um, I can't really find this anymore, but um, I do have larger petal pads. This one seems to work um, for most sizes. So, and it has a good, um, a good give to it. Some of them give too much. Some of them are really hard. This one's pretty much um, in the middle here. So what I like to do is, oh, also make sure your ball tool is not sticky. So take my ball tool, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to soften these edges, just like that. So basically, I went over it back and forth one time. So you can see the difference here. So this is without, and this is with going over it with the ball tool. So we're just gonna soften these edges up. I'm kind of going half on the pedal pad and half on the actual pedal. You can even go over the whole thing if you'd like, just lightly, just so you don't have a really big indentation there. Sometimes I'll show you if you press too hard. So this is like medium pressure here. If you press too hard, it's going to start ruffling already, which you can totally do, but when you do that, you have like this, this hard line here, which I really don't like. Um, you can always try to go over it again to smooth that out. It just, it just seems like extra work. So I just like to go over this lightly. And then after this, we're going to give it some good pressure, kind of like the one we did here. But this just makes it all kind of flow evenly. All right. So then that's the first one. Now I'm really gonna apply some pressure to this, kind of like what we did here, and I'm just going one way. See how it kind of just lifts up off of this um, pedal pad here. So I'm trying to just go one direction. One direction. If you try to go you know, one direction and then back, Sometimes it'll fold over itself, which you can fix easily. Um, this one tried to do it a little bit, but you just go back over it. So I'm just smoothing out these lines here. And then once it's in the cup here, this the form, you're not really gonna see that. So right now they kind of lift it up off of this petal pad, which is great. And I'm just going to rest this in my cup. There's different sizes. This one is a little bit larger. These are from Wilton. This one's a little bit larger. Um, this is the medium size here. And then there's a little tiny guy. These are like for smaller flowers or the flowers that you want 
like really cupped. Do you see that one? That one's like really like a, a half moon shape here. If you don't want them that cupped, if you want them like bigger, but not as rounded, you can use the bigger size. Um, I wouldn't put this one in the really tiny one. Um, I don't really think it would fit. So we're gonna use, we're gonna just use the medium size for now. You can definitely do the larger one if you'd like. I think this one, I think it initially it was dried in here and then it, it wasn't fully dried and I moved it here. So that's how it got this nice cup. So we'll do the same thing. So we're just gonna leave that there for now. Gently press it down in the middle. And now we're gonna move to our medium size. Same thing, softening the edges back and forth. We're not putting that much pressure, so that's why we can go back and forth. Okay, once you have those edges softened, they're thinner here, they're thinner on the outside than they are in here, I'm just gonna go back and apply, apply more pressure. Now the reason why I'm using the bigger side of the ball tool opposed to the smaller side is that sometimes it's too harsh using the smaller side on a bigger flower. Um, I like to use this for smaller things, but if I'm tr I can't apply this much pressure with this side. If I did, it would just rip. So I'm just putting I'm applying pressure with the bigger side. Now with this, you can go ahead and start layering or you can wait until the very end. We'll wait until the very end, which is pretty quick. Same thing. So with sugar flowers, um, it's pretty repetitive. Once you get the first part down or you know the first petal, it's just you know redundant, just keep doing the same thing. And so over time, it just gets easier and you'll get faster as you go along. So when I'm going over this, it's half on the ball, or the ball tool is half on the flower itself and half on my petal pad. And I am applying, applying a good amount of pressure here. All right, so we have our three pieces here. If it's too hard for you to assemble in here, you can always assemble it flat and then move it here. Um, I'll show you the way that we're gonna assemble it inside here. Sometimes if your bowl, your resting cup is too small, it's hard to layer them in here. So we'll give it a shot. Right now I'm just using some of my edible glue. It's available on my website. Just put a little bit in the center there. Now with these flowers, these um, different um, layers right here, I'm not putting them exactly one on top like this. I'm just going to alternate it to where this um, end of the petal matches up to where these two meet. Oh, there's some red fondant stuck in my flower. Um, so it's just gonna overlap like that because if you do it this way, it just doesn't have that same fullness look that you're gonna get here. Um, you can definitely do it this way if you'd like, but I personally like doing it this way. So that's what we're gonna do here. So find wherever these two meet, with that indentation there, and you're going to put the bigger one first. Try to find the middle and then gently press down. If you have long nails, you can use your ball tool. Just make sure you get it in evenly. Sometimes they get caught on the side here. See how they're all already starting to come up here. Um, so just a little tip if that does happen. You can get a sharp object. I like to use pen blade. And then I'll just take my pen blade here and that red fondant is just gonna come right out. See, done. These are great. These are retractable. Another favorite tool of mine. So the same thing here with this last layer. I'm gonna put some edible glue in the center and then find where those two meet. It actually matches up with the, not the layer before, the one before that. Press it in the center. 
Now, if your petals are kind of not where you want them to be, you can easily move them. If you get something to lift them up, you can either use the back of your paintbrush or you can use some sort of tool. Just kind of pull them to the center. You can move them with your fingers also. Don't be afraid to do that. And then if they're not staying at all, which they should with gum paste, you can always rip up some napkins or paper towels and shove them in here so that there's more space between these. With the gum paste, usually it dries pretty quickly. This one is stuck here. Just like that. Just so they're more curving up. There. It's really pretty and really easy to do. Now with the center of your flower, you can really do anything. In this one I did a small ball of gum paste and then I did edible pearls around that center. You can do one ball in the middle or you can do three. Um, I think I usually do three. Super simple. If you wanted it to be fancy, you can add some gold to the center, some gold paint, and I also love, 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 love to paint gold around the edges of my flowers. I can insert a photo to show you guys how really nice it looks. So for these balls in the center, you don't want them super big, but you don't want them super small either. You wanna be able to see them. So kind of just roll your first one and see if you like the size. I think that size will be good. You can either eyeball them to get them around the same size, or a trick is you can roll a log, and then when you're cutting these, you can make sure you cut them the same width. And then once you cut those pieces out, since it's the same amount of gum paste there, your balls will be the same size. But for this one, I'm just gonna eyeball it. If they're too small, add a little bit more gum paste. I think these are kind of all of the same size. So again, a little bit of edible glue in the center. Doop, doop, doop. Where'd you go? Press those down in there. Now it's gonna be a little bit slippery for now just because the, the edible glue is still a little wet. Once it starts drying, they won't move around at all. So just put it in a place where you're not gonna touch it. But that is my simple sugar flower. You can call it an open blossom. It's going to dry like this. Now these are not wired. I have made these wired before. That's a whole nother thing. That's um, a little bit longer of a process, but these are really pretty. Uh, you can put them right against the cake. I glue mine, the real, real heavy ones, I can glue them with um, chocolate, but sometimes you can get away with just gluing them with edible glue directly to your cake. You can make them all different sizes. They're really, really pretty when you have a lot of them, um, especially cascading down a cake. So that is my Easy Sugar Flour, and let me know if you have any questions on any of the products that I used or on how to make these actual flowers. And thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.